So good morning once again. Let's take a minute to settle in. Or what we call uh, ground ourselves by taking uh, three deep breaths. So today uh, we will keep the instructions a little shorter uh, because the feedback that we get, uh, because most of you have been joining the session for a long time now. So the instructions on the body posture, on the focal point, the, anti uh, the errors and the antidotes, it's quite clear. So we'll keep it shorter so that we can, from now onward, we can have three rounds of uh, meditation. So earlier we were having the two rounds, like five minutes and then 30 second break and then five minutes. So now maybe we can practice for three rounds or uh, maybe, you know, three cycles of 21 breaths. So we'll keep the instructions very short. Uh, simply by you know just just bringing ourselves directly to the posture the seven feature virachana posture so we can sit in the posture i'll repeat very briefly that there are seven points that we focus on cross leg whether it's full cross full lotus or half lotus and the hands, the position of the hands, where right hand on the th uh, left hand, thumbs join in to make a triangle, back straight, as if a string is pulling us up, what we call the upright position. Then tongue should touch the upper palate. Lips and teeth relaxed. Eyes should be half closed. And our gaze at an angle of 45 degree. And that our shoulders are straight. So this is the seven feature of Rochna posture that we have been mastering for over a month now. And then the focal point. So in the sessions, our focal point is the space between our nostrils and upper lip. And the two the two errors, the two common errors that we face is mental excitement and mental lethargy. And the antidotes to that that we have been discussing are introspection and mindfulness. So this is what we know. And today, so we'll, we'll begin with the three cycles, okay? But before that, we'll just set up the motivation. I mean, we have mastered the um, the body posture, but motivation is something that uh, again we will set up strong motivation. And motivation for today's session is again to understand the nature of the mind. To understand that what leads what 
what leads to these errors that we have been talking about that is mental excitement and mental lethargy how do we understand the depth with this constant habituation so that is the motivation to habituate our mind daily it's like looking into the mirror daily and this this awareness that we all suffer because of all these emotions is same and this is the beginning of the the mahayana motivation the motivation that since we all are suffering since we all are same at least at this level so may i become that that energy that force to help everyone so this is the beginning of the mahayana motivation and me through this practice we habituate our minds in the same so with that we'll directly start our first round and then we'll take a 30 second break then second round and then 30 second break and then the final round so from today onwards we will develop this practice of three rounds at least so as soon as you hear the sound of the gong we will begin the first round
So we'll slowly come out of the first round of our practice. Rejoicing. That at least for five minutes, we were able to look into the nature of the mind. So we'll take this 30 second break to reflect, to also stretch our bodies if you want to. It could be slightly, you know, just moving your shoulders or arms. <clears throat> Or also, if you want to have a sip of water. The idea is not to force our bodies. But to understand. To habituate. So we really have to make this word habituate you know, our constant companion, that we have to habituate ourselves. So we'll reflect on the errors that in the past uh, five minutes, what were the errors? Like the mental excitement or mental lethargy? Did we face them? If yes, were we able to apply the antidotes, that is introspection and mindfulness. So whenever we are ready for the next round, we'll resume our posture. the seven feature Virochna posture that we have been looking into.
will come out of our practice. We'll again take 30 seconds break. And while I was thinking about the word break, I think the analogy that came to my mind just now, that whenever we have speed breakers on the road, we do get uh, at times, you know, little fidgety or like, why do we have speed breakers? But, I, but you know, when, when we start again after the break, we do feel that uh, happiness, that rejuvenation that we talk about. So I think if we just scale it up, we understand the importance of break. We understand why it is important to stop and then begin. Because then we come with a lot of learning how to be better. So, and at the beginning stages, it's absolutely okay to take these short breaks and then resume the practice. So if we have just twisted and just relaxed our muscles, we will begin the final round. So today we are experimenting with these three rounds and we'll see that which was better. Okay, so we'll, we'll tweak in accordingly. So the idea is not to just follow one method, but to listen and, and you know, the needs, the context, and also different factors. As we have seen, there are many causes and conditions. And as practitioners, we keep our mind open. So we'll begin the final round. And whenever you are ready, you can Resume the posture, the seven feature Virochana posture. And also maybe looking at what are some of the points where we still need more practice, like in terms of our positions of hands or eyes, or maybe simply, you know, our tongue that may not be resting on the upper palate. So we can also see which point that we have to work on more so we'll begin the final round
So we'll slowly come out of our practice. Taking a moment to rejoice. To be grateful. So we'll dedicate today's practice continuing uh, this feeling of rejoicing this feeling of being grateful to all the causes and conditions that helped us in completing the practice, no matter how small it may look like, this was another, another habituation practice. So like a proud, uh, like a proud parent, a mother, training the child daily. So we'll, we'll let this feeling sink in. We'll also pay homage to our teachers, His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama, Also, our reverend teacher, Lama Zoparin Poche, and pray for his swift return. And any other teacher that we wish to dedicate to. Also to our parents, our family and friends. And with this awareness, we'll start a day on a good note. So thank you everyone for joining.